all set. Disengage. Said hello, son. You're still mad at me. How's your health? Fine. Still taking your medicines? No. 
Mother and I think you should take them every day. Mother and you are not doctors. Have you gone to the doctors? Yes. And what do they say? I should take them every day. Here. Take some. You can get out of this, you know. I do love you, son. I wish I had the money to pay someone. To do what? To kill you. Would you kill me? Certainly. But why don't you kill me yourself? Because I can't. Of course you can. Come on. Use your hands, yeah? Come on. Come on, use your fucking hands. I can't. I won't fight. I promise. Come on. I can't. Yeah. I understand, yeah. Actually, yeah. It's too much hard work, isn't it? <laughs> Why do you use a fucking bat? Hmm? Squash my head, yeah? Fucking break my bones! Fucking kill me! Come on! Use a bat! Kill me! I can't. <laughs> I understand, yeah? Yeah. Be fucking disgusting, wouldn't you? Yeah! Why don't we use a knife? Hmm? Come on! Slit my throat! Come on! Cut my fucking throat! Come on! Kill me, yeah? If you wanna kill me, use a fucking knife! I can't! Yes! Oh, well, yeah, I understand, didn't it? Blood can always ruin. Yeah. Why don't we use a gun? Hmm? Oh, come on. It's got lots of bullets. You can shoot me forever. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. Shoot. Shoot, son. <laughs> Kill me. I can't. Mm. You can't kill me. You want me dead. But you can't kill me. Forgive me then. Never. Find a job? I don't know. Gonna find a girl? I don't know. You're gonna find a friend? I don't know. You're gonna kill yourself? I can't kill anyone, let alone myself. Good. I'm going then. Where to? Home. Who's home? Why the mothers? Still keep a room for you. For when you're back, you won't be back. What are you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> I've got a gun. Wait. What? You think you're out of this, don't you? You think you're above this, you think you're safe, but you know what? You're down too, father. You're down too. No. Don't talk to me. You're down. No, for no. Gone. Obliterated. You're gone, father. <laughs> don't you're talk gone. to me. Dead, rotten, deteriorated, decomposed. You don't exist, father. Do not exist and you me. never will! Do not talk to me like that. Do not. Go on, do it. Go on. I don't fuck fuck it. Do it. talk to me. Do it. Smash my face so don't like that girl. Go on. Do it! Yeah. 
I don't, I don't need to do it. I don't. You always look like me anyway. Disengage. Ha! No, he, he didn't. 
I'm not in a care home. I'm in my house with Grandma. Are you sure how bad this? What is this? Of course I am. It's that like, Grandma died 20 years ago. And... No, she didn't. Yeah. You're looking quite young today. Ah, it, it, it's because of these medicines. Here, take some. What are they? They keep you young. Very good, my boy. Do you remember what never happened? When I was in primary school, and I'd tell everyone that um, my granddad knows everything. And at any time someone came to ask me a question, it's, I'd say, oh, they should go to you, and you'd be able to answer for them. Do you remember? <laughs> he used to be so proud of me. But I... Well, I, 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 I did. I, I, and I knew everything back then. But you didn't even finish primary school. Ah, oh, that didn't matter. I knew everything. A good memory. Strong memory. Do you remember the stories you used to tell me? I love those stories. You know, sometimes, actually, I, I think those stories are all I've got. Will you tell me one? Please, go on, Dad. I'll sit here and I'll... Imagine your worlds. Ah, uh, very well then. Well, it's, uh, I was in World War Two, Third Division, uh, Fourth Brigade, uh, Ninth Battalion, Number Forty One. <laughs> we were fighting there, fighting there in the firing line. My comrades, many of them, got killed, and I stood there, catching their last breath. Bloody Germans, god damn it! You see, I. I've killed people, my boy. I had to. When you when you kill a man, it stays with you forever. But we fought to, to stay alive. Uh, to, to build a future. Your future. And we, we said to you, if this happened, now go and make sure it doesn't happen again. Go enjoy life! But you told me you were, you were called to the army, but you hid in a forest for two years. Me? Uh, no, I was fighting in the firing line. No, no, you, you told me that you didn't want to fight because you were afraid you'd get killed, and, and you hid because you were scared, and if, if they found you, they would have executed you on the spot. I, I can't remember that. But you can't remember being scared. I, I remember being scared. I, I can't remember hiding. That, that's what you told me, Granddad. My, my, my memory is failing me, it seems. Maybe. I, I can't remember how my life went. It, it changes every day. Does it make you suffer? To be honest, not really. I, I believe my stories. Does, does it make any, any difference if they're uh, true or, or false? A story, it is a story. It's either good or, or bad. And your stories are still good, Grandad. Ah, and am I still good at telling them? And you're still good at telling them. As long as I can tell stories, I'm alive. Come visit me again, Grandad.
said hello, son. Are you fucking dead? Just fuck off, oh, father. I'll make you change your stupid attitude. Ah! Taking your medicines. Yeah. 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 Saw so your granddad the other day. Where is it? Yeah, he didn't recognise me at all. No. He's in another world. What's he got? Alzheimer's. Dementia. I don't fucking know, he's gone. Oh well, he's living his life. Still living it. That's the problem. Where have you put him? Yeah, Carol. Do you take good care of him? What difference does it make? I mean, that 
given the worthless lazy cunt that you are, father, it's unlikely that you will. Don't talk to me like that. Don't You're a stupid, talk to worthless, me. lazy cunt. No, I will teach you a lesson. Oh, what lesson could you possibly teach me? I will teach you how to speak to your fucking father. Undebatable, undeniable. Do you understand? Yes. Do you I am yes. singing undebatable, undeniable? Repeat it with me, repeat it. Sacred, undeniable, undeniable. Sacred, undeniable, undeniable. Sacred, undeniable, undeniable. Sacred, undeniable, undeniable. Sacred, So how old are you? 29, how old are you? 54. What were you doing when you were my age? This, hanging men. Bravely hanging men for your country. Oh yes. Killing the parasites, crack, crack, crack. Oh yes. Breaking their necks, snap, snap, snap. You're allowed to do the same. Good. Good. What were you doing before? I worked in a death clinic in Switzerland. Wow. Good job that was. Why did you leave? I had started to miss England. Terrible. Appalling. Tragic. So, I came here and continued to kill people. This time against their will. How is it when you kill people? According to their will. The same old stuff. They panic, they cry, they shit themselves. I guess no one really wants to die, huh? Death's not easy from what I've seen. So it seems. The worst thing is, we all cling to life, even when we don't want to. Terrible. Appalling. Tragic. So what about you? What did you do before this? I was an art student. Nice. What subject? Design. Did you like it? Not really. I never really liked anything. What, from your course? No, in general. My life has been quite boring so far. You should try yoga. Why? Because that is fucking boring. You all think your life is exciting. I guess you don't like many things either. No. Do you like killing people? It's a job, like any other. But do you like it? Not really. <laughs> What's so negative? There's nothing that we like. That's the problem of our generations, yours and mine. Nothing excites us, everything's taken for granted. But what can we do? I don't know. Start a revolution. <laughs> hey! I know one thing I like. I like football. Oh, me too. <gasps> there you go. There's something we both like. Do you like watching it? I like watching it too. Apart from when England is playing. Oh my god, fuck that. Last time England were playing, the convicts hung themselves. What a brilliant idea. What? What you've just said. The day before hanging someone, we'll make them watch England all day. We'll prepare an accurate selection of the worst games of the last 20 years, which shouldn't take long anyways. Mate, you're actually a genius. It'll save us a lot of work. No one will resist. No one. I'll prepare a crescendo of dismayed horror. Uh, 2012, 2014, 2060, the time it was supposed to be coming out, it didn't. Oh my God, 25th of June, 2016, England won Iceland too. Can we finish with that? We must. <gasps> Wait, is this not considered torture? Of the worst kind. Then it settles. Before you go, 
Uh, I thought you might want to hear some advice from your old granddad. Sure. Remember to take a coat with you everywhere you go. <laughs> if you forget your coat, you might catch a cold. And a cold is not good for you, you will get ill. I remember, granddad. I want the coat saved my life during World War II, you know. Uh, third division, fourth brigade. 11th Battalion, number 41! Fighting in Russia wasn't easy. Many of my comrades froze to death, and I stood there waiting for them to die. Luckily it wasn't long, because it was bloody freezing. <laughs> Vera, my boy? No. <laughs> Vera was a Russian girl I met whilst fighting the Germans in Stalingrad. Do, do you know what Vera means in Russia, my boy? It means faith. And she had lots of it. Every day she would go down to the village church and pray. She would kneel down by the icon and beg the Lord to spare my life. I can still see those beautiful legs popping out that simple country dress. The work of a master. Wait a minute. Didn't you and Grandma marry in 1938? What? No, no, no I didn't. Uh, yes, yes, no, yes, you did. <laughs> no, I never married. Yeah, no, you, <gasps> you cheated on Grandma. I never cheated on anybody. Oh, oh. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I, I, I must go now. Grandad. It's time for my walk. Can I ask you a question? Sure, my boy. What do you want to know? If you tell two stories of the same event, and one ends good and the other ends bad, which one do you believe? Uh, well, you believe which one you want to, my boy. Can I believe the good one? Yes. Are you going to believe the bad one? No. Then who will believe the bad one? Uh, uh, no one. <laughs> then that story will die. Yes. Stories die all the time. Are you going to die with all the stories you haven't told me? Yes. That's a shame. It is, isn't it? <laughs> we should write them no, down. No, no, no. Why not? Uh, because then that would be it. They, they would never change. They would stay the same forever. Well, before you go, will you tell me a, a memory? A memory to keep with me to the end. Sure, my boy. Uh, do, do you remember the time we went fishing? It was your birthday and I took you to the lake. I remember. Do, do you remember how it went? Yes, I remember. Waited and, did, and waited all day, and nothing came up, not even a little fish. All day we sat in silence. Uh, from time to time we would complain about not fishing anything out of that lake. I remember. But we sat there, and you kept that rod in your hands, a tight grip. And your face looked so concentrated, like you had to fish something out at all costs, no matter how long it would take. Yes. And then you got something. A big carp, and I was so proud of you. It was a pretty big carp. <laughs> there you go. I remember that. Remember that big carp. And the court. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa.
the father, he, um, he escaped the care home and he made the 200 mile trip to Ancoat. To his old house, his old mum's house. And um, when he got there, the, uh, the people living there thought it was some kind of joke, but he kept on uh, knocking on the door. He was persistent and then, you know. I see. Yeah. Eventually, they let your granddad in, made him a cup of tea, explained that he didn't live there anymore, and then he gave uh, They looked at his little fucking, his little tag, you know, and they, uh, they called me. Then when I got there, I pick him up, and he swore the whole time out, the whole fucking journey out, and, uh, and I kept on thinking, when is this bastard gonna die? Miss Grandad. Well, you know where he is. You should visit him from time to time. Don't have the time. We've got a lot to do. No like what? A lot of stories left unfinished. Have to finish them. Have to write them down. Listen, son, you're. Uh, you're I know. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You could ask your mother. Listen, I, I can't keep sending you money. You don't need to. You don't. Okay. Okay. I don't need anything, Father, right? It's all very simple. I've never apologised to you. Good. And I never will. Good. I did nothing wrong. Nothing. I treated you in the right way. And gave you what you deserved. Good. Same good. I mean it. It's good. It's all good, Father. It's all blessed. I've got to go. Okay. Sam. Yes. You're an ungrateful piece of shit. <laughs> Disengage. You look beautiful. <laughs> Sit down. I have to tell you something. What? You won't like it. I'm leaving you. What? I love someone else. Who? Your father. What do you mean, my father? Your father. This is rather disgusting. For you, it is. For us, it's fine. I feel sick. Shut up. I'm gonna puke. We're in love. Listen. You have to try and understand. This is for the best. For the best? Yeah. Um, you're free, I'm free, we're all free. No one's pretending anymore. Free? I don't feel fucking free. I feel betrayed. Yeah. Shh. You leave. Look. I understand you're feeling a bit upset. A bit? Understandable. But you have to try and forget. Erase your memory, start afresh, forget everything that came before. Yet, the thing that prevents you from being happy is the memory of being happy. Yeah. Well? I guess you're right. I wasn't really happy before, and I get the impression I won't be happy after either. You weren't happy with me. <laughs> Let's say I was a happy six. Well, it doesn't matter now. I came to say goodbye. Would you like one last kiss? Did you brush your teeth? Yes. Then yes. Stop!
Uh, okay, so mm. I understand. You really, that. you really shouldn't complain about things you don't like. You think about what happens and what what makes you happy, and then pursue that. Don't don't complain about things you don't like. It's stupid. It's not that I don't like it. Ah, you like killing people. Uh, it's a job, uh -huh. like any other. Killing people oh. is a job like any other. Uh, well, yeah. Like cleaning toilets or washing dishes or building houses, it's a job. Uh, then why don't we clean toilets? I don't know. Look, I don't know. I, I, I saw this job and I applied. I never thought they'd call me. Yeah, but they, um, they did call you. Uh, yeah. And you had ample chance to turn them down. For example, by not going to the interview. I did. Yes. And then when they offered you the job, you could have very easily said no, but, but you said yes. I did. Then you do on this job, my friend. I met a lot of people like you. You, you hide your cruelty behind your misery. Ah, I'm not miserable. What did you study? Uh, art. Ah, art. Ah, that explains it. You didn't have the talent, did you? I don't know. Yes or no? No. Hmm. Ah, well, you make the right decision. Quit art when you have the chance. Look, do anything that you want in life. Just, just don't, don't, don't become an estate agent. <laughs> so you want me to say some last words, do you? If you don't mind. I do mind. Why? Because I want to live. I don't want to fucking die. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to do anyway, sir. It's a procedure. Blah, blah, blah. Do it. Just piss off. Fine. Yes. Bath it. Bath it. No, 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 leave it, leave it. Leave it's the procedure. procedure. No, fuck the procedure. No, fuck it. Let him do it. Fine. He can keep it. Okay. Yes. Okay. <sighs> I've got to tell them some last words, do I? <sighs> All right, um... I'll tell you about the moment I realised I wasn't going to be a footballer, an artist, a painter, or any artist I wanted to be. It's a sad moment when you realise you're not going to be what your dreams have told you to be. Especially when you find yourself working as an estate agent. I apologize for this, 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 this brief digression, but uh, God, I fucking hate estate agents. They're, they're parasites. I can tell you, because I was one of them. I, uh, I walked like one of them. I talked like one of them, I snorted like one of them, and I shat on people like one of them. Being an estate agent is basically the end of civilized life. You are dehumanized. You are thrust in this room with ignorant, pimply kids with their, with their, their tie and the, and the pomad, and, and you spend all day trying not to breathe in their, their cheap deodorant. <laughs> They people, they become numbers, numbers become money, and money becomes your daily source of piss take on people. <sighs> you see, the problem was, I like people. I couldn't live that life, so, so, so I quit. <sighs> this is the end of the digression, by the way. But still, I couldn't be a footballer an artist, a painter, a writer, whatever fucking artist I wanted to be. Like I said, it's a sad moment when you realize you aren't going to be what your dreams have told you to be. A dream is a dream, it's precious, no matter if you're talented or not. And it's a sad moment. It's a sad moment when you go, and now what? And now what? I still have 30, 40, maybe, maybe 50 years to live. What am I going to do with them? My answer was, I will adapt. I find something that I don't love, but I don't hate either. 
And, uh, and that's how I got by. And you, till you got me. No? But still, uh, I've forgotten what I was going to say now. What? What was I saying? Oh, um, ah. I, I could go on and on about, um, you know, how much I hate this society and how much I hate you for putting me here, but, and I, oh, I will curse you in a minute. I will curse you all, but, but the truth is, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> do you know what I'm thinking about right now? Do you know what's running through my head? It's crazy, it's clear, it's running in my picture. I can see it just here. I, I am distinctly, I'm picturing it. I am picturing a big bowl of carbonate. The way Mama used to make. <laughs> she would make it quite often, to be fair. But every couple of months, we would gather up around the table, and there it was. I miss those days. I miss lasagna too, and Arabiata. Oh, my dear Arabiata. The warder asked me yesterday what I'd like for my last supper, and I, I, I said, carbonara. And um, after a couple of minutes, the warder came back to me, and he um, told me that the chef wasn't able to cook it. So, so obviously, I told him how to. I wrote it down on a bit of paper. I gave it back to the warder. I said, thank the chef. I got steak instead. Oh well, I ate it. It was all right. Uh. Oh, I was about to ask you. Uh, do you guys happen to have any uh, carbonara on you? Carbonara? No? Okay, you'll tell me later. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? Um, ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I still have to curse you. <sighs> so if you don't mind, ladies and gentlemen, I will curse you. Once there was a time in the middle of the country in the center of the world, and it was inhabited by quite a few people, I, I should say quite a few, and although I didn't know them personally, I heard they were good people, honest people, working hard and earning their bread. It turns out the main source of income for the time was farming. And through there, and I should say, excellent labor. The time was growing every day. They were not incredibly rich people, not that I should say, but everyone was able to sit at their dinner table and enjoy a good stew. And so many days passed in tranquility. Then, one day, boy from the time when I'd flying his kite. And as he was flying his kite, he came upon a hole. But as he looked closer, he realized it was not a hole. It was a passageway leading deep into the ground. So the boy with the kite found the passage leading deep into the ground. He, he got excited and he ran to town to tell the news. And, and the inhabitants, they formed a small group to go and see what the matter was. Turns out that this hole was deeper and darker than they thought, and about about halfway through their, their candles, they illuminated something sort of yellowish and shining. It was gold. We found gold, they screamed in exultation, and to be sure, the cave was was full of gold. So the town started trading gold, abandoning their farms and becoming incredibly rich. <laughs> Some became richer than others, and this sparked rivalries and hatred, but I, I should say, this is not the point of the anecdote. The point of the anecdote is that one day a group of inhabitants, that I should say about five or six of them, they went to go and extract some gold from the cave. It was a nice day outside, not that the miners could see it, of course, but, but a nice day for everyone on the surface. Digging they were you know, merrily and at a good pace, and they were looking forward to sitting around their dinner tables with their pockets full of gold, smiling at their wives, smiling at their children, feeling utterly proud of their lives. Digging they were, when suddenly some rocks fell behind them and blocked the passage upstairs. <laughs> but, 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 
And the miners looked at each other in bewilderment and said, I know what. But, but I should say, I, they did not despair, for they knew that their loved ones would notice their absence and, and come to rescue them. And indeed, after a few hours, their, their families became concerned. The wives were waiting for their husbands. The children were getting hungry. It was time for dinner. What could possibly keep their husbands so long? So after a while, the wives, they gathered together to go and see what the matter was. They, they gathered up around the cave and, and decided to descend into it. They were hoping to see their loved ones at any moment, but all they could see were black rocks. And suddenly, some rocks fell behind them and blocked the passage upstairs. And after a few hours, the inhabitants, they, they became concerned, not seeing their fellows return. And so the mayor gave the alarm and literally all the people gathered all together around the hole. From the carpenter to the school kid, from the tailor to the nun, everyone was there and they all wanted to know what was going on. So they took a deep breath and descended into the cave. Into the hole they descended, but as they were calling out for their fellows, the, the rest of the rocks fell down behind them blocking the passage upstairs. He stayed still for a moment, cursed God, and shot themselves. And then the rest of the cave collapsed, swallowing into the depths of Mother Earth, taking the town and its people so when are we going to see the show? As soon as my assistant comes back from his break. Yeah, when's that going to be? About 15 minutes. He deserves a break. Yeah, but what are we going to do in the meantime, like? We'll have a chat, we'll have some wine, relax. This is good wine, actually. Yeah, 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 okay. As long as there's wine. Dad! So, are you excited? No, no. Not really. Uh, what? I said, are you excited, sir? Ah, I don't know. <sighs> Do you know where you are, Dad? Ah, I'm in my house with Grandma. No, sir, you're in my house. Delighted to have you. Would you like me to show you around? We converted this space into a 19th century dance basement. Just as he liked it. Shame we didn't dress for the occasion. Yeah, well, suits made me look old anyway. Actually, you look incredibly young today. Oh, thank I you. I mean it. Uh, yes. Some days you're always young. <laughs> and then you die. Yeah, yes, and you're nearly 60 and you still dress like a teenager. <laughs> Not only that, I bet he still believes he is one. Uh, I guess he likes life a trifle too much. He thinks that if he acts young, he'll never die. Not only that, he thinks if he acts young, he'll keep getting laid. Instead, he looks risible. Are you getting laid, sir? No. Then put some appropriate clothing on. Yeah, but this T-shirt is comfy, yeah? It's not a matter of comfort. Fear. Have some decency. Fear. Do, do, does he fear, still eat the uh, fear, fruity fear, or pass? Fear, 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 fear! Ah, I'm quite hungry. Yeah, I could do with 
you something to buy. Oh, yeah. um, I should have prepared some snacks for the party. I can make something now. I'll do some mentals. They follow mentals, huh? Sounds yeah. good. good, yeah. <sighs> who die young. They hang in the toilets of indie arty clubs as posters and they're always staring at penises. Uh, She's the price of here, I guess. Yeah, but if I was in that toilet, they would, it'd take him a long time to look at my penis. <laughs> so full of shit, father. Yeah, yes, son, you're so full of shit. Oh, get lost, you deceitful, decrepit mess. I might be decrepit, but I'm not deceitful. Oh. Go and make some stories up over there. Very well then, I'll make stories against you. Do what you like. <coughs> How many problems? No, you shut up. Hey! Oh, it's alright, my brother. He hasn't taken his medication before. Have you taken any medicine? No, I haven't. No. It's my Have you taken yours, love? I haven't. Yeah, give it to Perhaps that's why I'm so resentful today. Dad! Dad! Yes? Have you taken your medicines yet? I can't remember. No. Come take it then. Whoa, very well. Right, so everybody finished. This will not stop me breaking you, you rat! Oh, I wrote a story! Oh. Here we go again. <coughs> uh, well, once there was a son. My son. He's an ungrateful bastard. He put me in a care home and forgot about me. He, he said I would make friends. I did not. He, he said I would be better off in a new environment surrounded by trees and green, even though my old house was next to a park. He said that if I didn't like it, I could, I could come back home. He sought my house after two weeks. He, he said that he would come and visit me once a week. I haven't seen him in nearly two years. He said that he would call me every every evening. He even forgot to call me on Christmas Day. That's the story of my son, the ungrateful bastard. Mm. 
Yeah. Well, and the time was right, he put me in the bin. Yeah. Is that how you repay your father after all he did for you? I call you every Christmas, and I visit you every week. And you've made friends in that care home, yeah? You just can't fucking remember them, huh? Look, look, Dad, why are you complaining? Look, we're all here now. We are all here. We are all here. Look, this is your grandson's ex-wife, yeah? This is your grandson. And this is his comrade executioner. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. So stop complaining, yeah? Well, what did you do with the money from the house? I had lots, lots of debts to pay off, Dad. That was my house. My money! Yeah, what were you going to do with that money? Yeah, spend it on drugs and bitches? Uh, I'd have used it as I pleased. Yeah, well, I'm younger than you, so I've got longer to live, so money is worth more to me than you. You don't know that. Yeah, well, chances are I'm going to outlive you. I don't like you. Yeah, well, one can't please everyone, can they? Is it not funny? I find it quite depressing, to be honest. Sometimes funny and depressing are the same thing. So, you're the main killer there. Do they call me? Oh, tell me more. What do you want to know? How old were you when you killed your first wife? I can't remember. Has anyone ever survived? No. What's it like to kill people? Is it cool? How do you feel? It's okay. Okay? Well, what, you might have said something more exciting about it. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know. Something like it's the thrill or it's all about the adrenaline. I don't really get adrenaline out of this. How can you not get excited or nervous? I just... Don't. You're not very entertaining to talk to. God, people are just become colder and colder. <laughs> if you want, we can kill this song together. All you have to do is put your hand on this lever. I would love that. All you have to do is pull the lever. I'd love that. So you can see how it feels. I would love that. And give me a break from all your annoying questions. Hey, she's being rude to me. Um, hey, uh, May, don't be rude to her. Don't tell me what to do. This is my house. My house, my rules. Yes, yeah, whatever. Hey. Yes, kid. I need to pee. Or eat, or sleep, or drink. Well, you can only do one of those things. Choose. Pee, then. Uh, uh, pissing is important in the right place at the right time or in a nappy. Shut up, you, you embarrassing ruin. Don't you talk to your father oh, like that.
It's your job, isn't it? What's the that job say? I'll do it. I will do it. Quick. Okay. Quicker. <sighs> you give him a hand. He's really heavy. Uh, 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 isn't it good? Silence at last. I'm still here. Not for long, kid. Not for long. I'll be silent again soon. Ah, I'm back. Oh, what a shame. Sorry. Nothing. Did you enjoy your break? Mm, moderately. What did you do? I tended. Ah, can't get laid, huh? Not really. But I'm not sure that I want to. How <laughs> bullshit. I'm serious. I'm more of a family person. Well, not getting laid isn't a good start if you want a family. I guess I don't like this after. You know, it, it's okay when you object, objectify them. It's not okay when they objectify you. Oh, that was it. That was that was really it. I'm so sweaty. Can I have a white wine, please? Oh, certainly. Good job, kid. Good job. You say that, but that was nearly bloody impossible. Yeah. Where did you put it? We dug a hole in the backyard. We thought some tomatoes were there. Like them, fellas. We like tomatoes. There you go. Thank you. My pleasure. You know, I think we should probably go. Well, you don't want to. You want to. You don't want to stay for the, the show. I think we can get the footage to the camera. No, but that's not the same, is it? It'll be enough. Come on, love. Look, keep your father in law slash ultimate sex fantasy some company. Mm. This is my first execution. I'm a bit nervous. I see. Well, I, I was an art student before. I uh, completely different field. And I relocated. Interesting. Uh, really wasn't. I didn't want to kill people. <laughs> Do you like the gallows? I designed them. It's my graduation work. I was going to use it on the salon when I got this job. <laughs> Impressive. Uh, they look good, don't they? Check this out. It's hollow on the inside. Yeah, I sucked it all up with the gimlet. Yeah, it took me two weeks. Well, what's up, love? If you could just... Oh, look, my glass is empty. I'll need a refill, but I will do it. It's all right, I'll do it. Oh, it looks like I need a refill. What's that, love? Don't drink too much. Because I am, and you're driving. My car is making me feel uncomfortable. What, that nerd? Ah, yeah. oh, you'll be alright, you'll be alright. I don't understand what we're doing. Oh, we're gonna execute this poor bastard here. Well then, can we do that, please? We're just having a chat, chill out. I am chilled. I just want to go home and watch a film or something. Or something? Yeah, watch a film or something. The fact that you use something shows that you're not sure what you're gonna do when you get home. I'll probably watch a film. But you're not sure, right? No. If you're not sure, whatever you're going to do isn't urgent, so it can wait. Well, what can I do in the meantime? Have a chat like everyone else. Get to know each other. Hey. She, look at her. She's pretty, right? And she looks a bit like a porn star. A porn star? Yeah. From those movies, you know, you guys like to watch. Do you watch those movies? Daily. Does she not look like one of them? I bet she is one of them. Go up and talk to her. I think you've got chances. Oh, I don't know. She didn't seem interested when I talked to her. Oh, mate, she's just playing hard to get. You've definitely got chances. You think I've got chances? Absolutely. Well, is she not with that guy? Oh, what difference does it make? I bet she doesn't know how to keep her knickers up. I don't know how to approach a woman. Oh, it's easy. Just be confident, have the attitude. Women like that. Be confident, have the attitude, okay. So you think I've got chances? Absolutely. Play it well, play it cool. Play well, play it cool. Just go straight to the point. Yeah, go straight to the point. And you'll see. She can't say no. She won't say no. She can't say no? Okay. Uh, will she say yes, though? She will scream. Hey! What? I 
need the toilet. You can't go. Can you? I need to pee. Yeah. Remember, remember that game you used to play when you were little, yeah? You used to be able to like hide for hours, you stay so fucking still, yeah? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So keep still. We'll be done soon. Yeah? To piss myself. Yeah, just keep still, for Christ's sake. Can someone just take me to the toilet? <laughs> all over when he goes down, know what I mean? Realised 
I'm not okay with the idea. I, right. You can see, I, I'm reconsidering. I'm, I'm not such a bad man, Queen. I, I, I don't want to die. So you want to live, my boy? I, I don't know. I, I just know I don't want to die. I understand. And what is it that you did? I, I don't know. You, you don't know? I don't know. Well, then how can I help you if you don't know what you did? Um, I, I, I don't know. I... Well, can you find out quickly what you did? And yeah, yeah, I guess I can. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys, what did I do? Oh, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Wait, I, do. I don't know what did I do. So you had bad thoughts? Um, I, I, I had bad thoughts. Oh, uh, about what, my boy? About what? About your family. So you had bad thoughts about your family? Uh, I had bad thoughts about my family. Oh, that's bad, my boy, that's bad. Yeah, I know, Queen, but you see... <laughs> For that, you need to be taken down. No, Queen. Uh, I'm sorry, I would help you, I would. But our uh, family is sacred, you know. No, Queen. Just imagine just if Charlie go. had bad thoughts about me, where would the world go? No, but. Oh, Will! Or oh, Harry, boy. No, 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 no. You're a bad man. I've changed, but, uh, people never change. I have. I love my family, they're adorable, and I was wrong. Well, are you sincere, my boy? Are you telling the truth? Yes, yes, I, I'm ready to be with them now. I'm, I'm ready to be a decent man. And uh, would you, are you okay doing that? What? Uh, being a decent man? I, 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 I don't know. Oh, well, well, then there's no point, my boy. In doing what? In living. Just get on with it. Oh, I must say, off with it. Can you at least give me a chance? Uh, you had your chance, my boy. It was called A no. second chance, please. Hey, my Mercy and spare my life anyway? I must say it's not likely. Please, Queen. Uh, I'm, I'm begging. You begging? Yes. We'll get down on your knees then. Uh, Are you on your knees? Yes. In order to show you how magnanimous I am, I will toss a coin. Thank you. A heads or tails? Heads. Right. <laughs> uh, tails. No, please, just no, no. You know, it's funny though. What? You know, she, she never asked me my name or, or where I was calling from. She just. Oh, well, you know the Queen. She knows everything. Uh, can I have it? What? At the phone. Can I have it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right? Sure. Can we speak things up a bit now? Yes. Uh, we're going to follow the procedure. Of course. Just going to make a final wish. Uh, last advice then. Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you have some last advice, please impart it on this man now before he passes away. Don't stay. Don't go. Don't move. Don't halt. Don't sleep. Don't wait. Don't speak. Don't be quiet. Don't hesitate. Don't hurry. Don't believe. Don't deny. Don't laugh. Don't cry. Don't fornicate. Don't abstain. Don't cheat. Don't be faithful. Don't kill. Don't spare. Don't live. Don't die. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. I wish I could escape into someone else. You know, someone with different problems. Smaller problems. 
and, and their feelings, you know, different feelings. Smaller feelings. And their pleasures. Different pleasures. Bigger pleasures. Hey. You lot. Make me feel the pleasures of a decent man. Hmm? Make me feel the pleasures of a decent man. Make me feel the pleasures of a decent man. Make me feel the pleasures of a decent man! <laughs> oh, they never learn, do they? Yeah, it's a sad story. Right, should we get on with it? We shall. Uh, uh, yeah, all good. All set, get the herd. Um, put it on now. I don't see why not. Do you have to follow the procedure? Of course. Do you get to make a final wish? If he cares to do so. Sir, would you get to make a final wish? Yeah. Then please do so. Sure. Disengage. 